what's up people how are you all doing welcome back to the channel my name is Alenda Kimaru thank you so much for the support and thank you for subscribing if you've not kindly subscribe hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a video on today's video I wanted to talk I wanted us to talk about saving and how I do it especially when it comes to vegetables so um, a year ago I moved to Kakamega for business that is I came here for work and uh, I happen to live in a in a place where there is a small portion of land where you can actually do some sort of farming. And basically, what happened is when I moved here, it was all grass. I'll share the photos, just grass, 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 and just the house. And then uh, after some time, I, I actually bought vegetables for quite some time. And then I, I asked myself questions: Why? Why am I buying vegetables? Why am I spending so much money? buying vegetables when I could I could grow them for myself and growing up uh, growing up um, my mom really instilled that in us because for us we never used to like uh, you know buy vegetables from anyone we used to grow them for ourselves we she, she's so good at doing uh, growing carrots spinach you know dania and all that kind of stuff so reflecting back i was like why am i doing this why am i, why am I buying, buying vegetables when i can you know grow them in that small portion of land and the only thing i need is for someone to till the land for me or probably do it myself if i have some time and uh, once I, I i asked myself this question i realized i was really wasting a lot of money um on something that i could do for myself or by myself so what I did is I got someone to till the land for me to get started and yeah and that's how I started growing my own vegetables. I remember previously I used to live in different uh, rental places and most of the times you find that there is usually no, no land to till and all that so I always use that as an excuse of why I'm not growing vegetables, why I'm buying them. And then again, also the the fact that you can go to Mamamboga and you know and you buy them and she will even chop them for you and you you get to the house and you only cook. So for me, that was always an easy way out. And I feel like as young people, that's what we usually do most of the times. But sometimes I don't know, and I'm not trying to you know like talk badly about people's businesses but i usually see like sometimes you go to my ma ma mamboga sometimes they are not some of them not all of them some of them are not washing the burgers properly you know and it's just like the way they handle the burger they will handle money they touch the money and then they touch the burger i don't even feel like that's very hygienic but not that's not all of them but most a um, good majority i don't know have you noticed that that a good majority would touch the burgers and all that so i feel like also the alternative of growing your own vegetables and really even chopping them for yourself really can help a lot so anyway uh what i'm trying to say is that so i decided to grow my own vegetables and so far i think i actually do save a lot of money probably between 1500 to 3000 in a month and what i have done is i grow i grow my own spinach i do skuma wiki I have planted a bit of potatoes, dania, and uh, I am hoping I can do carrots. Yeah, yeah, basically that's what I do. So, um, and you know, the, especially the land here in Kakamega, there's very good weather, so you don't even have to worry about it. And I know someone already right now probably by watching this video, they're like, hey, you know, I don't have that big, uh, I don't have a piece of land where I live. Yeah, I got you covered. So. Basically, if you live in a place where you are, you cannot you cannot farm do farming because maybe there's no portion of land. I'll show you pictures of some of the things I have been doing. Also, you can you can do you can farm using a gunia, a sack, you know, and you can also use uh, you can also recycle tires, old old car tires, which can help. So basically, even if you live in a rental place and the only thing is you have is your very small balcony, you can have you can put a sack a sack full of soil and then plant on top and even on the sides and you can also get a tire which will look if you get a tire it looks very classy also so you have a tire over there or two tires and then you put you, you put your vegetables there oh i also do onions and especially with tires with onions and skumawiki and also 
a lot of spinach you will have they look like you are planting flowers you know so i don't know if you you've been saying oh i don't have a piece of land that's why i'm not farming please don't use that an, as an excuse please try to try to use those modern ways of farming and trust me you won't regret it you will be so happy especially if you live alone like two or three tires are more than enough for you and you you wouldn't have to be buying vegetables at all at all because you can you already have your own supply you know get high on your own supply <laughs> yeah so so basically i would say like for example um on a daily basis i i use not less than probably 30 shillings on tomatoes and then not less than 20 shillings maybe especially because right now the onions are very expensive i would use like not less than 20 shillings on on, on onions that goes for that's like 50 you've not added the near the here you never get like the near five bob kakamega there's not the near five bob so that's 10 that makes it that makes it 60 and then if you are to use a ho ho that would make it what uh 70 shillings so in a day in a day literally you could use like around 70 to 80 shillings to buy buy yourself what just small things like vegetables so that you can need oh and i forgot if you are cooking ugali or you don't want to put vegetables in your food so that means you would use that would be between between nine eight bob to a hundred shillings on just vegetables imagine that's a lot and that could probably be because i don't even cook as often or not as often as in i don't cook like three times a day <laughs> Uh, I don't have like three consecutive meals. Sometimes I would cook once and just warm that food and all that. So imagine if you are spending between 80 to 100. So let's approximate 100 bob a day on vegetables in a month. That's like 3,000. Or if it's 80, that's like two, I think 2,400. All that amount of money, something for something that probably you can grow on your in your own small piece of land or in your attire in a recycled tire or a recycled gunia how much more could you be saving so you could be saving for that trip to bahamas instead of you know using the money on vegetables and i know sometimes usually look at it like hey bahamas i have to spend a lot of money so maybe these vegetables money will never add up no 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 it could be long term it could be a long term saving to do something you always desired like travel or do an online course and pay for it and stuff like that so if you've not been growing your own vegetables trust me this is the time to to try and if you live in a in a rental place where you don't have a piece of land as i say don't use that as an excuse kindly try the two methods i've talked about that is recycling tires and also using um sacks or gunias to do that so anyway i hope this video has been insightful i really want you or i really want us to learn how to have a serving culture and i always link up a friends of mine um she has a blog she's called together she has a blog on medium she talks about finances how you can save how you can build on wealth and and all that and i would really say she's an expert in that if you've been reading her blog i know she offers a lot of insights so every time i post a video kindly check i always post her latest her latest link in my description make sure you you check out her her blogs and also kindly also also if you want any help with finances saving and building on wealth as i said she's an expert in that make sure you reach out to her and she will help you you know learn and take you through the process and yeah so anyway i hope this video has been insightful if you want to 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 get started on that please go ahead don't wait too long and make sure you you like this video give it a thumbs up and also <laughs> make sure that you leave your comment down below and share 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 sharing is caring and also subscribing to my youtube channel is also caring and helping me grow so anyway thank you so much for watching until the next video thank you and bye